everyone and welcome back to Chef Melanie's Kitchen. Uh, so any of you that sort of are my friends or you follow me on Instagram will know that last month I very amazingly, luckily, won Ainsley Harriet's National Couscous Day competition with one of my recipes which I was absolutely flabbergasted by um, and very honoured as well because Ainsley Harriet is one of my favourite uh, celebrity chefs. I've been watching him since I was nay high, since I was really small. When I used to get home, I used to um, sort of, um, home from school, I used to sit down in front of the telly and watch Ready Steady Cook and pay, play Ready, Ready Steady Cook in my head. Like I'd see the ingredient bags they'd get and I'd like make up what I would make and I've been doing that since I was little. So I'm going to be making tomato and black, I'm going to be making my winning recipe today. So that's tomato and black olive chicken casserole and that is served with feta couscous, using, of course, Ainsley Harriet's fantastic couscous. Um, as my prize, I won two signed cookbooks, his two new cookbooks, which are fantastic. I've been leafing through them, just brilliant recipes. And also they sent me 16, 16 packs of couscous, like two in each flavour they do, so I've been working my way through that. I'm going to go through the ingredients, although the recipe will be in the, in the description of it, but also um, it will be on the Ainsley Harriet website as well, which there's loads of really cool recipes up on there as well, so it's really worth it. You look. will need two tablespoons of oil. You will need one large red onion, which we're going to thinly slice. Uh, you will need two garlic cloves. I think they're, they're hiding just behind the basil. Two garlic cloves, which we're going to crush and finely chop. You will need two chicken breasts, um, which I we're going to dice up. Uh, you will need uh, one uh, chicken stock cube, which is going to be turned into 200 millilitres of stock. You will need uh, one tin of chopped tomatoes, um, standard 400 gram size of that. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. You can use other types of vinegar, but, um, but balsamic gives it a really pleasant sweetness and colour. Uh, you will need um, a jar of olives. Uh, it's drained weight, so it's normal net weight is 330, but it's drained weight is 160. 100 goes in the casserole, and then 60 will go in the couscous. You will need a packet of the star ingredient, a packet of the sun-dried tomato and garlic flavoured couscous, which will cook up according to packet instructions. And then you will also need half a pack of feta cheese. Oh, and of course, some fresh basil as well, which goes into the dish, as well as a few little extra sprigs of fresh basil just to finish that off. This meal serves two, but, but it can be really easy multiplied to four to six to, to eight if you have a big enough casserole pan. But yes, it's an excellent midweek Mediterranean meal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to season them with a bit of salt and pepper. And for four to six minutes, roughly, just a bit of salt, uh, four to six minutes, I'm going to just brown them all sides and then with a slotted spoon, remove them to a separate bowl. So to that same pan, now that I've removed the chicken, I want you to add the knob of butter, which I think I forgot to mention um, in the recipe at the beginning, but the recipe is in, on the website in the instructions. Knob of butter, your red onion and your garlic, and on a medium heat, you're going to cook that for about 8 to 10 minutes until you've got a really nice colour on those onions. Onions are looking lovely, so we're going to add some other ingredients now. So you're going to add the reserved chicken back in. You're going to add the tin of tomato. We're going to add the two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. We're going to add those lovely olives, which are hard. We're going to add your 200 millilitres of chicken stock. And you're just going to add a bit of sugar because whenever you cook with tomatoes, it's always good to add a little bit of sugar to emphasise the sweetness. And what that's going to do is that's going to bubble away nicely for about 20 minutes. Uh, stir it occasionally, but yeah, 20 minutes. And whilst that's simmering, you can get your couscous ready. Prepare the couscous to instructions, which I put it into a bowl. I'm going to pour 160 millilitres. I like to weigh it because I'm being precise. 160 millilitres of boiling water. Give it a little bit of a stir. Oh, it's steaming up the screen. And then top a lid on it. My lid is a plate. And let that stand for five minutes for it to absorb the water. So as you can see, the couscous has um, absorbed all that lovely liquid. And I'm just going to fluff it up with a fork, just as it instructs on the packet. I'm going to add my 100 grams of diced feta cheese. And, oh, got stuck. and my quartered black olives, lovely, 
and I'm just going to stir that through. Um, I don't want to stir it through too vigorously because I don't want to completely crumble the feta. I want the feta cheese to still remain in chunks when I plate. So just stir it through until it's nicely combined. And then that bit's ready. So two minutes before the casserole is finished, uh, I want you to add your chopped fresh basil. The reason why I add this right near the end is so that the basil still keeps its sort of fragrant freshness and its colour. Because if you add it at the beginning, it loses it, but you still want that nice, fresh, fragrant, sweet flavour. So of course it feeds two, but I'm just going to show you how to portion up one. And that's the delicious couscous there. And I'm just going to ladle on a couple of generous, because it's a generous portion size. I don't, I don't do things in half. We don't do things in sh in half in Chef Mel Kitchen. We know that. And I'm just going to ladle that on as well. That's difficult one-handed sometimes. That looks beautiful. Just tidy that up a little bit, and then just as a little flourishing touch, just for sort of a, a flavour and appearance, I suppose. I'm just going to add. A few more just to have a nice beautiful pop of green and just to bring out the lovely colours of that Italian flag, that red, white and green and emphasise that beautiful dish. I don't want to hide the ingredients but I want to just add a bit of a add a bit of a flourish. Maybe maybe one more leaf. Go leaf crazy. There we go. That's nice. Okay, so that is my competition, my couscous day competition winning uh, tomato and black olive chicken with feta and black olive couscous with Ainsley Harriet couscous. Check out this recipe and loads of other delicious ones on the Ainsley Harriet website. And if you like this, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel because there'll be plenty more um, yummy videos to come as well as there already being lots of yummy videos on the channel.